Just landed in Indianapolis. It's five days of hard work, but it's five days for the rest of your life. Running a tenth of a second faster in the 40 to change, you know, where you get drafted. With a good performance, I knew I kept surpassing guys and getting to the first round. You don't know what could happen. Once you're out there, it's just you. So working out with Coach Cap and trying to warm up as much as possible, making sure I'm really loose and just a good overall headspace for when I went out on the field the next day. It's really not that important for me to do specific numbers, but I feel like if I'm in a real good groove, those numbers will come. The bench is important because it just shows a player's raw strength. We were there for four days, no workouts yet, so we were itching to finally get something. So we were ready to go bench. So it's going to be a huge day. I'm extremely important. I go out here and show these coaches what I can do. AJ Dillon, Boston College. Kenneth Murray, Oklahoma. Levi Hamilton, Ohio State University. They go all the way up. When I got out there, I was the first person mm -hmm. to bench. And you see all the GMs and the scouts and the coaches out looking at you, but it's exciting. Good. You get those butterflies when you get up there, but you know, then you go up there and do what you've been practicing this entire time. Good, all the way up, block it out. All the way up, all the way up, one, two, It's really important to have a strategy. My strategy was just try to attack it with speed, and then once I got to that point where I felt a little bit tired, take a break and then try to finish up strong. If there's anybody that can get 45 reps, it's definitely Devon. One of the extra things that was kind of challenging was uh, keeping track of how many reps I was at. But you know, I just kept trying to push for one more the entire time. 11 reps, one one. 13. 33 reps, three three. I got 22 reps, a one rep deduction. 23 reps. Being at the center stage of the bench press uh, was awesome. You know, I kind of perform best when uh, all eyes are on me, and I feel like my preparation has definitely uh, helped me for this. I was just tuning into what I had to do and what I wanted to accomplish. It was easy to tune everything else out and just focus on the task at hand. So I feel like I put my best foot forward. So Coach Capretta and Andy, they had us, you know, just kind of dialed back into the small details, not running completely full speed or anything like that. You know, it's mostly just on those little details, making sure they're muscle memory. And not this one, but the next one. To the end of it. Right here. Let's reach behind you there. Do that six times. Yeah. Probably run four seven. Dude, that's gotta just motivate you. Yeah. Some guys had me run four six, four seven, and I uh, just kind of chuckled and laughed because uh, we both knew what I was capable of, and uh, what more of a perfect opportunity to shock everybody and kind of show them what I'm about on the biggest stage on the planet. All right, let's go ten squats when you're ready. Ten squats, squeeze your butt at the top. Ten squats, squeeze your butt at the top. And then once you hit that tenth one, we're just gonna quarter. You're just gonna go small taps. This leg doesn't move. Chest stays over your quads. Set, go, come up a little bit, there you go. Three, two, one, you're down. There you go, come on. Three, two, one, down, nice job. We'll get into starts now. I want you guys to come out of this one a little bit now. There it is, good. Nice and smooth. There, that's it, that's what I'm looking for right there. <coughs> yeah, buddy. That's a wrap, fellas, good job. My goals are to wake up the world, kind of shock him a little bit. That's 247 pounds for AJ Dillon. Been hearing a lot of people aren't expecting me to be as athletic as I think I am. So, uh, you know, to go out there and just show them that uh, I can do everything that the smaller guys than me can. I'd say if I did guess a range, like, I think you're running on like a four, five, three, I guess. With the Jumbotron here, so you know that there are no I tell you, running four, five, three at 
247, and that's no water weight. That's the real deal. Uh, you know, I felt really good. I said what I was gonna do, and I went out there and I did it. This has been one of the impressive developments because the estimated speed on Claypool was probably in the high four fives, but look at that build. I'm well aware of all the pressure that goes into the combine. Well, thankfully, I've been prepped and I'm ready to go. Chase Claypool. Let's, Let's go, go, Chase. Sean Payton would love him at that. Jared Cook. Jared Cook. You know, watching my former teammates go through the combine process, I know how much money lies on, you know, one rep in terms of a uh, 40-yard dash. A tenth of a second can cost you millions of dollars. He's six, six, over six four. <laughs> That's I know. The deal is What do we want, Ryan? I think low four fives or high four fours. <laughs> NFL people are always looking for a fast corner. With that being said, you need a fast receiver to match that. I figured if I can run a sub 4-5, with the talk about tight end, we'll go out the window. You've got uh, some fast yeah, individuals set to run here. Brandon Ayuk is one of I was kind of a fringe guy in the first round, early second. So for me, with a good performance, I knew I could surpass some guys and get into the first round. All right, let's go. Right, let's go. Right, let's go. 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 let us go Chris Carter and he told me my time was four or five one. I was pretty sick at the time when I heard that, but um, I know I have one more. He called us during his warm up. Yeah, so I gave uh, Kappa Carter my warm up. I found something that worked good for me throughout training. And when I got to the combine, I didn't have any of those things that I was warming up with. So I had to just pretty much make up my own warm up. So, so that, that was kind of frustrating, um, but it's how the dice rolled and just had to just continue to go with it. The other thing to remember is he's always PR'd on his second one. His shin angles off. So look, see how good it is when he like goes. Yeah. 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 Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> Good job, dude. Good job. <laughs> How many times did you have the whole thing? Goes up. Moves his hand. Goes down. Goes down. Goes up. Goes up. Goes down. Goes up. Goes up. Not very. That's not it. That's not it. Second one was just was just awful. Second one, you have to wait for all guys to go run. So I was just trying to try my best to stay warm, and then didn't even run as good as I did on the first time. So it was rough. Went out there, I had fun at the combine. They had questions about the speed, ran fast, questions if I could catch, didn't drop a ball, and uh, definitely showed the athleticism with the broad jump and the vertical. I'm always excited to see the people that I work out with, that work with, uh, Excel. You know, because we all put in that hard work and that grind all in together, so it was just amazing to see all of it transpire. Yeah, so, uh, you know, at the combine, it's a little different for a quarterback. The main drills we're, we had to focus on is our throwing and our position stuff. And I was excited, and I felt like I did really good in those. I feel like I moved very well out on the field, and um, I felt like I did very well overall. Just being out there, I felt like all the interviews went really well. I felt like I did a great job out there. I went how I expected it to go. You know, all the talk about tight end is now kind of diminishing. I didn't run as fast or as well as I wanted to. I'm in the 40, so I kind of just have to scratch that, continue to perform, and I'm just waiting for what's going to happen in April. Early morning, draft day, cooking breakfast. Man, I need this to just start. It's like, this is like where I play like a huge game. I just want the game to start. You're nervous. I'm still waiting to see where Jordan will go.
Oh my god, this new overtime cut sleeve is perfect for running. Feels so free. Go get yours right now. Click the link in the bio. Check out these videos and subscribe. See ya.